Hey guys, it's Jess and I am here at Target. I'm about to go in and check out the new Disney store. So why don't you join me and we'll go check it out.
Hey guys, it's Saturday morning. I forgot to record this yesterday, so I'm going ahead and record it this morning. So let's talk about what I thought of the Disney store in Target. So first of all, they were giving out these really cute totes yesterday. I'm hoping they still give them out today since I didn't have a chance to post this yesterday, but super cute. So they're kind of doing that free gift thing with the grand opening, which is nice. Um, I don't know if they'll do more things this weekend because a lot of times stores will, so we'll see. Overall, um, it was smaller than I expected. So I kind of, in my mind, had it about twice the size that it was actually. So the official Disney store area was, I would say between four and five aisles worth of space. So I was a little disappointed in that. It was cute. Um, the Frozen section is not technically considered the Disney store section, which I thought was weird. I would have liked it more had they had both together. I thought that could have been better, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, I also know that even the night before, like there was nothing set up until the store closed and they did the entire transformation overnight and that's a lot to do. So I wouldn't be surprised if it gets better as time goes on. Um, I did like the fact that they brought in some boutique items. Like I got my daughter this crown. They also had some of the, and this is metal by the way. Um, she wants to be a princess for Halloween and the plastic ones always break. So when I saw this, I went ahead and grabbed it for her. Um, they also have some of the nicer dress up dresses. Um, they brought in a few of the boutique type kids wear, which was kind of nice to see because you wouldn't typically see that at Target. Um, they also brought in things like, you know, the, I don't know if these are sugar or shortbread, but these cookies, I had a whole <laughs> bowl of them, but my kids have already eaten all but this one. So that's all I can show you. <laughs> but they had all of the Fab Five on them, which was cute. And that's something typically I think of at the Disney parks. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future you can get some of the Disney Rice Krispies, which would be, I think, a better seller than the cookies because everybody loves the Rice Krispies more. Just general thought. Um, I loved the mug section. I picked up this one. Um, I think that's a great addition. The plush section, I don't know if it was bigger than before. It felt a little bigger. Um, could it be better? Yeah. But for what it is, it was good. The clothing selection was pretty good. Um, my only critique there was it really is geared towards clothing for kids opposed to adults. So there was maybe three or four shirts that were for adults. And unfortunately for me, the largest size they had was a large, and I need an extra large, sometimes um, a little bit bigger than that. So there wasn't anything really there for me, but the employees that I talked to um, told me that there were, there were more stuff online for adults. I kind of briefly looked into that, and it looks like that's the case. So it might be one of those things that as time goes on, they might bring in more adult merchandise. There were a lot of toys, which, I mean, it's right next to the toy section. So I think that was their plan is to bring in the Disney specific toys. And I was, I mean, I was kind of like, well, I felt like they already had a lot of those toys. They're just putting them all in the same location, but I don't know if that's just me. So I was a little disappointed, I think, in the toy selection because I felt like it was already there. Could have been wrong. You know, I don't peruse the toy aisles all the time. So there's that. And then I did like the fact that in the Frozen section, they had things like this. I, I got this to do with my girls for um, when the Frozen movie comes out, we'll do cookies. And I love the fact that you can make the Frozen cookies. I think they're going to love that. So, and it, the edible stickers are included. So, I like it. We'll see if they really turn out like the box. But, you know, 
it's a fun activity and kind of draws us together. So overall thoughts is it's, it's a good addition. It doesn't replace the Disney store. Um, but if you're already at Target, it's nice to have the option to pick up a few more things. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.